Hey, hello everyone, this is Stuff, you're watching Stuff HD and today I am doing a review, uh, not a review, a tour almost review of Casa Campo Airbnb edition so here is the the house that you see in the pictures this is the outside of the house you've, brought, you know, you've already seen this in one of my videos but in case you didn't has a very nice painting over here Casa Campo preservando la cultura y el puro sabor de aquí yeah with the risotto uh, this is one of the entrances we never use that one this is the parking lot yeah but again, remember, there is a business in the back. So. All right, so let's check out the inside of the Airbnb. So there, there are two entrances. I tend to use this one the most because that's where I parked the car right there. So. Here we have that couch and here those chairs I did not like. I do not trust them for people my size. There's a TV right there and they, they do have a Wi-Fi thing over there. This is the living room. Over here we have a little kitchen. Now obviously when they give us the, the house everything is more organized. Um, here's a little kitchen. It's a nice little kitchen. It's comfortable. Uh, full size fridge over there. Uh, that's this tiny coffee maker uh, but you know it, it, it worked out worked out great for two people a little you know kitchen thing you know right here we have a laundry room <coughs> I am currently doing laundry uh, there's a washer that has probably seen better days there's a dryer weird thing with the dryer is I don't see uh, exhaust at all so um, yeah if you're gonna use the dryer make sure that you have the doors open and windows I guess because I I didn't see any sauce uh, so yeah something to keep in mind all right continuing the tour over here we have a bathroom um, here's the you know top or not top shower toilet uh, vanity or whatever that's called um, I do not love that light it is not very it's not very uh, powerful and I absolutely hate these hooks uh, when you're trying to move the whole thing it gets stuck over there but you know that's nitpicking it was it's been a good bathroom now going past the bathroom over here to the right we have one of the rooms this one has two uh, uh, regular size beds not uh, twin size beds um, it does have that thing with a bunch of stuff Plenty of cheats, I guess. Uh, one, <laughs> one complaint that I know my, my, my sister was saying in this one. One complaint that I know she had is that the mattress has been kept. The mattress has been kept with plastic, which is uh, not fun to sleep on. Yeah, uh, you know, 
you're in a warm place, you have that mattress there with the plastic, like air doesn't circulate the way that it should. I think the same happened on the other one. Yeah, this one has the plastic also. Pillow is kind of a plasticky material also. So that doesn't help. Alright, let's keep going. So coming out of this bedroom, you come into the bigger bedroom, which is quite a bit bigger. And this is where I was staying, so excuse my mess. Um, yeah, this one has a full-size bed. Uh, and it has a futon here that they count as a sleeping place, but I'm not I'm not the type where I stay, it's just me. I'm not sharing my room with anybody. Uh, so it, it does have this big closet over here. It has that working space over there. This is where I would sit and edit my videos. Oh yeah, uh, it has AC. It is the only room in the house that has AC. Now, some of you might be wondering, why is my sister sleeping on the crappier room? That's because I don't fit in those beds. Uh, we checked the bottom. If I was to lay down on those beds, it, it would break. Uh, so, so she was kind enough to let me stay here. Uh, plus, you know, I, I like the AC. She, she's not a big fan. She doesn't like AC, so, so there's that also. Uh, I absolutely love this room, except it has one, one flaw, one big flaw in my opinion. Here, that is the only outlet in this whole room. <clears throat> that is the only outlet that I found. I checked behind the bed, I checked behind the dresser over there, I checked behind the desk over here. I did not find any other outlets. In this room so like I have sleep apnea I need to sleep with my CPAP so I had to find an extension cord that I could bring over here so that I could then try to hook up my CPAP to this chair um, and luckily my sister was able to find that extension cord normally I do tend to bring an extension cord with me when I travel I just forgot in this case, so luckily I found that one. Uh, but this is exactly why I usually carry an extension cord, because I don't always find a plug near my bed for the CPAP. Um, <clears throat> but I was like, come on, like such a big room, and there's one, <laughs> one plug? So I've even had to take uh, turns charging my stuff, because all I have is one plug, so. That kind of sucks, but other than that, it, it, it's been, you know, it's a very nice room. I like the room. Um, the bed, this one doesn't have the plastic, so that's good. Uh, but the bed is, itself is very firm, which is, you know, like, uh, I'm about to, to leave tomorrow, and I feel like last night, the bed finally adjusted to me. Uh, so... Ah, uh, oh well. So yeah, this is the, the inside of the Airbnb. Overall, it's a very nice house. Uh, yeah, it, it is a very nice house. I still don't trust those little chairs, but being able to come out here in the morning to enjoy some coffee is amazing. Oh, I forgot to even mention this out here. That little grilling area is supposedly part of the house. Um, I never went down there because it's a lot of steps to, to get down there. But also the owner told us that that pool is for the house, that we could use it. Again, we never did use it because we're not really water people. But, you know, it's an option. Let me Let me show you a bit more. Back here, there's a hammock, by the way. If you enjoy the hammock over here, it's 
I mean, I don't get in a hammock because I'll break it, but um, I do not recommend jumping down there. Now back here, this is the business. So like over here, they do set up this thing for, you know, tables for customers. Yeah, this is right next to the bedroom that I was staying in. Now, during my stay, it never got uh, all that rowdy here. So, you know, I, I never had any issues. But, you know, I cannot guarantee that that's always going to be the case. So, what might be some of the things that I don't like about this Airbnb? Because, you know, there's always things that you like and things you don't like. Like I said, it is beautiful. It is nice. The view is outstanding. Um... <clears throat> Some of the things that I did not like is, first of all, you walk in, you know, there's a lot of things in there. It really feels like you're staying in somebody's house. I don't know if they are always renting it or if sometimes they live there. I honestly don't know. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, we, we found like a used water bottle in the, in the fridge. You know, there's like dental hair stuff around that you don't even know if you are really supposed to use or not because nothing is very clear uh there's stuff in the cupboard cupboards like coffee and stuff like i don't know if we bought our own but yeah i i just don't know if if those were for us to use or just stuff that they uh, store there another thing that i wasn't crazy about <coughs> which you know, it, it's, it should be obvious, but I, I feel like I should mention it anyway, is, you know, the fact that in the back there is a restaurant. Um, so every once in a while, through that gate over there, uh, you would see people come in. Even when the restaurant is closed, the days that the restaurant is closed, like yesterday, it was closed. But, you know, we saw somebody come and open the gate and go back there. And, you know, like, I don't know who they are. I can only assume that they have something to do with the restaurant. It could be somebody coming to steal. I don't know. Uh, but I just assume that they are people that come to do stuff with the restaurant. And, you know, I leave it at that. But, you know, if you, if you really... Uh, need your privacy then maybe this is not, not 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 the best idea for you another thing that i don't care for that i feel i should mention and and this is not their fault at all uh but over here uh you end up without water service every so often like we would sometimes have water the whole day uh then sometimes the water service uh just wasn't working. I know that this is something that happens a lot in Puerto Rico towns that are up in mountains, you know, so again, I know it's, it's not their fault, but it is worth mentioning. Oh, the house does have a cistern and it does have a pump over here. There's a pump. So when water service goes out, you can still have water through the cistern. You just have to kind of figure out how to turn this on so that was one of the things i didn't like there there are no real instructions in the house so that's a tip for for the people of the house maybe write a booklet with instructions on how to do all that stuff because uh it's not fun when you when you run out of uh water um because yeah we would have water service with pressure for like 10 minutes sometimes and then all of a sudden it's gone just like that. The, the lady, the, the owner did explain to us the, the cistern thing one day when she was out here in the restaurant and she saw us, she explained it to us. Uh, she did mention the pump, only use it when you're bathing so that you can have some pressure, but then turn it off uh, as soon as you're done because I guess people have come and they have turned it on and left it on and they burn out eventually. So just while recording this, uh, I was just looking out here and I'm like, oh man, it's so beautiful. So anyway, yeah, that, that, that's the thing about the, the water pressure. So, so we kind of got used to, you know, 
Is there water in the house? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go shower real quick before they take it away. You know? um, one day we came and there was absolutely nothing. And it turns out somebody turned off the, the cistern. I don't know if it was the, the owner or just one of the customers maybe came and moved the key. I don't know. But, you know, again, that, that's what happens. And there's so many people coming in and out. You know, another issue. Parking, which you would think with this big lot, how can that be a problem? Uh, it is a problem with the business. I got used to parking my car like that. One day I parked it a little bit more towards the, the thing over there, more inside. And then somebody that came to visit the business came and parked right behind me. So it was almost impossible for me to, to get out. I had to do some maneuvering just to to get out that day. But people come and they park all around here. And then when when it's full, other people come and they come and they park in front of those cars that are already parked there, completely blocking them. In Puerto Rico, that might be normal for you to have to go to the restaurant and be like, hey, whose car is parked? You know, whose car is this? So that they can move it so that I can get out. I, myself, don't really appreciate that. Like, if it's full, then find somewhere else to park. Don't block people. That's not, you know, something to do so much with the Airbnb, but, you know, it, it happens here, so I'm mentioning it, you know? I'm not trying to hate on them. It's just, that is what happens. Next, the mountain. Absolutely beautiful views and whatnot. And the first couple of days, I was definitely in love with traveling up here. But reality is that after a few days, or I should say reality is that coming up here from San Lorenzo, there's like a, when I get to town in San Lorenzo, that's when I feel like I, I, I exited the property. Uh, otherwise, I just take this road down let me see, show you. Okay, take that road down that way to, to start going to town. And it takes anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes before you are actually in town in order to get out and go anywhere. The drive itself is not bad. The, the, the roads, you know, they're paved. They are okay. Uh, the problem is that a lot of people drive those roads very fast and you very often find yourself uh, with somebody be right behind you, kind of like almost pushing you. Like, uh, you know, you're trying to be careful. It's, it's a lot of curves. It is a lot of curves, uh, and, and you just, you have to be careful. Uh, but people that already know the roads, they are in a rush, and and they drive like it. So. Again, that, that, that there's absolutely nothing the owner can do about that. But again, I have to tell you that because the first couple of days, it was fun, you know, you know, going around the curves. But after a couple of days, it's like, damn, like I got to like I would be visiting some family. And then at, at night, it's way worse because people over here just love driving with really bright headlights but then i will be tired and i'll be like damn i still gotta drive all the way up there that that part sucks so it gets tiring after a couple of days it gets tiring doing that drive again and again so overall i think if you're coming to stay here like just a weekend uh, and you don't really want to go anywhere but just chill relax then it's great because you know you don't even have to go anywhere you can go right to the back get get your mojito de parcha get your get your food uh, it's all right there you, you don't have to go anywhere it's it's perfect you can park your car there doesn't matter if people block you or not uh, you might not have running water but you can still use the cistern you know in that case it is absolutely amazing uh, and you will have peace and quiet and and all that. If you guys see me like looking off to the side a lot, it's because 
you you don't get tired of the view. Like right now, I see that it is getting foggy out there, so there's like some rain coming. It is raining a little bit, but at the same time, you also see the sun. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of the bad things that I'm telling you about, they they are bad things, but I'm not saying don't come here. Like I'm just warning you, you know, so that you are aware of some of the things. See, I don't even know if the camera is going to be able to capture it. But right now, you can kind of see a rainbow right up ahead. But the camera might not be able to see it. But right around here, there's a rainbow that I can see with my eyes. I can see with my eyes. What the hell else am I going to see it with? It's right around there. But uh, it's fading away. Oh well. Alright, so I think I mentioned everything that I didn't like about the Airbnb. Um, you know, well, the, the, the Wi Fi is not great, but it's something. Uh, it was like 2 megabits. So, yeah. So I mentioned the water, I mentioned people coming in and out that you don't know. Uh, obviously, they don't come in the house. <laughs> But they do go back there. So the, the beds with the with the with the plastic covers, like take that shit off. Uh, I I don't like when 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 you check the Airbnb thing, it does say that it's for like six guests. Um, I think six would be too much, unless it's like a, a couple and three kids. That's five. Um, but with one bathroom. Uh, the house is it's it's not huge it's be, it's huge outside not not so huge inside uh, it is comfortable um, but I would not come with six guests because you know unless you're okay with sharing the futon uh, in the bedroom uh, and I think you will have to share the futon and the couch in the living room too uh, I don't know just saying. So would I stay here again? Like I said, if it was just like a one weekend thing and I, I didn't plan on going out much, I would definitely stay here again. But for me personally, I, I have a lot of family here in San Lorenzo. I like to go out, visit them. Uh, so it, it's not it's not the most convenient having to go down the, down the mountain all the time and then back up the mountain those 20 minutes they they really add up after a while like it, it really really gets annoying and again it's, it's not even the drive it's just the people the people are the ones ruining it because if i could just go you know at my pace the speed limit is like 35 i'm like why is the speed limit 35 that seems like too fast for a street with so many curves like I'm thinking Milwaukee, like in Milwaukee, South 27th Street, which the area that they call Layton, like that's uh, that's 25 miles per hour, and it's just a very straight road, you know. <laughs> like, so I was going 30, and I felt like I was going too fast, and I still have people behind me, like rushing me. Now in Puerto Rico, you do have to kind of be like, you know what, you guys want to rush me? Just go around, go around. Uh, but you know, in the streets, uh, there is not a, there are not a whole lot of places where you can pull over so they can go ahead. Like the streets are already like a one, one lane street that is supposed to be two lanes. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Overall, that is the Casa Campo Airbnb. You have my thoughts on it. It might be great for you. It might not be great for you that, you know, only you know that. Uh, I will say I never had any issues with electricity. That always worked fine. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to end this video here. You all take care. And I will see you around. Probably next time I'll already be in Milwaukee. All right. Later. Oh yeah, there was one more thing I didn't like. That house with an American flag. Get the heck out of here.